Okay, hi YouTube, Mr. Teaser Boss here, and I finally took the plunge and bought the Vita Slim. So in this video I'm just going to talk about how it compares to the original Vita, and do I think you should upgrade to it, or buy it if you're coming straight into the Vita market. So first of all, it's actually a little bit bigger, it feels bigger in the hand, and it's actually really comfortable to hold. Now the first thing you're going to notice is probably the LCD display, compared to the OLED, which a lot of people had complaints about, but personally, I actually like it. I mean, it is clear that, you know, colours are really saturated on the OLED display, you know, they're beautiful and crisp and there's deep blacks and everything, and everything does look really, really nice. But on the LCD, it's definitely no slouch. You know, it's just as good as a lot of smartphone displays, maybe not quite in terms of resolution, but definitely colour reproduction. And to be honest, in some cases it's better. For example, in low lighting conditions, it actually is less strenuous on the eyes. So in terms of the thinness of the device, it's actually a lot thinner, something like 20%, and it feels like more than that. You know, in comparison, the old Vita just feels like a behemoth. Seriously, I mean, um, the new Vita is a lot sleeker. I really like the buttons and the LED lights. I mean, they all kind of work together to make it seem like a more finished product. And I, really, compared to the Vita Slim, the old PS Vita just seems like this sort of glass giant. The buttons as well, I actually say are better on the new Vita Slim. The D-pad especially is significant improvement. The analog stick is exactly the same, so you're not going to notice any difference there. Now one of my big complaints with the PS Vita is even without this skin, it was actually quite difficult to press the start and select buttons, they're a little bit too inside. Whereas the Vita Slim, they have fixed that issue and the buttons are just a bit more prominent. The circle, triangle, square and X buttons are a little bit squishier as well and they have a little bit more sort of give. So when we turn the PS Vita over, we can see that the two devices have differing sizes of the touchpad. The Vita Slims is much smaller. Now this is a good thing for two reasons. Firstly, it means that you don't accidentally press it as much. And secondly, it leaves more room for these grips, which are nice and sort of large, and it means that, you know, you can grip the Vita better if you've got larger hands, which a lot of people, again, complained about with the original Vita. The finish is also a bit nicer and is a matte rather than the glossy finish that we had before. It's also worth noting that the new Vita now accepts micro USB, which means you can charge it with your phone cable, so it's just one less thing that you have to carry around when you take it places. As if that wasn't already enough, the PS Vita Slim has two more major benefits. The first is an extra gigabyte of free internal storage, and that's good for save files as well as a few games. The next thing is an extra hour, and to be honest from what i found, it's more like an hour and a half of usage, which is absolutely massive. So honestly, I actually think you should upgrade to the Vita Slim even if you already have the old Vita, if you play it a lot. If you're buying a new Vita, then you should definitely get the Vita Slim, do not go for the old one now. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you liked this video, if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.